what an episode guys it honestly blew my mind how great this episode was if you guys haven't watched it go ahead and watch this now this episode is super awesome i think it i'm just as hyped as when we saw goku versus jiren goku versus kefla but all of universe 7 against aniraza my god this is probably one of my favorite fights of all time honestly because of how everyone worked together it felt like the power rangers were getting together just to fight this monster it really did uh, i may even make a, a kind of i don't know if i will but you guys will see maybe i'll do something but this episode guys wow i mean Anitasa had everyone pretty much feeling kind of like despair. In what sense do I mean? Like it had them all on the run. It had everyone pretty much on their toes. No one took a break. Anitasa was super fast, super strong, and was intelligent. And I don't know about y'all, but that one moment where Anitasa actually grabbed 18... And speaking of 18, what a role. Honestly, she is fantastic. One of the best females. Better than Kefla. Better than Khalifa, hands down. But I'll get to that in a sec. But when Anirasa grabbed Android 18 and was gonna eat her, did any of you guys have like an Attack on Titan moment? Because I sure as hell did. I thought, oh my god, this is like and uh that that scene where Aaron's mom was eaten. Yeah, that's what I was getting. I was kinda getting deja vu. And uh it was it was weird. But thankfully Goku saves her. And Android 17. What a dude. What a dude, honestly. This dude stole the spotlight, like Vegeta said. Like he went out and did a lot of things, like Rick would say. This dude saved everyone basically but i'm jumping the gun before he's saving the world he almost got eliminated just like goku goku almost got eliminated but frieza stepped in kicked him and saved him but unfortunately 17 was going to be eliminated and there was nothing he was going to be able to do and 18 who honestly being saved from being eaten by the anitaza titan which is the ninth titan <laughs> But after her almost being eaten moment, she basically sacrifices herself in order to save Seventeen and says, you like this kind of human mushy stuff, go out there and continue working. And she takes it, man. She takes a dive and I hated it. I didn't expect Android 18 to be eliminated this way. It, it felt like she had so much more to do, but... It is what it is. And Andrew 18 overall did a wonderful role, I think, in all of the tournament. She did great. I am very happy with her. I'm very content with her role, with what she did. I'm happier than what she did with than Piccolo. Piccolo, unfortunately, was... Uh, we all know what happened to Piccolo. I don't even have to get in detail with that. But her role was just perfect. And it helped Android 17 pretty much get the spylet in this episode. Who, with his Android abilities, or pretty much instinct as being an Android, saved them all. And I was just so happy of the power-up scene where all of them go full power. And another thing, um, I will say I was very happy. This is very minor but important to me. Uh, with Goku going Super Saiyan God mode because it's quicker it was it, I liked him using that it was a mode where he can actually just go faster without you know using much stamina awesome well I think he used much stamina but I just was really appreciative of him using that that form something that we don't see very often since you know the Kefla fight but using seeing him use it was just really cool but enough of that I was just really happy to see all of them powering up and taking down Aniraza, who basically was trying to pull a Frieza. He was trying to t blow down the whole stage. And funny thing was, Ant Universe 11 did not do anything. And in this episode, they do not do anything at all. And they probably would have been taken down with it. At least Topo and Dispo. 
That's just my guess as to who would have gone down. Jiren, not so much. He would have been floating because we all know Jiren is pretty much all powerful. And he maybe could have taken out Anidaza after a couple hits. But I was just so happy to see them all together. And with Android 17, realizing how he could destroy the energy reactor was smart, was awesome. And taking them down. And then by the end, when we have Universe. 3's God of Destruction revealing himself I was very disturbed I thought it was that robot I thought that that was Moko Sama whatever his name was I thought that that was him I, I thought that that was really you know a robot super, you know, God of Destruction not some puny little horn guy who you know size doesn't make the man but he definitely wasn't what I expected but then we have even all of them kind of happy, you know, their little moment. Even Frieza was able to enjoy it. But then we have Universe 11 just ready to show up. And this both saying, you guys done chatting. Like, I cannot wait. Because in the preview, we saw all of them fighting. We saw Frieza fighting. And he's going to be fighting this if you guys didn't know. So, I'm excited to see Frieza shut this the hell up. Because he is annoying as hell. And it's about time Frieza really got some spotlight. Uh, I like that in this episode, it was about Android 17 and 18, and it wasn't that even it wasn't even Goku centered. Like yeah, Goku was in the middle of it all, but it wasn't even about him. So I was really enjoying this episode. This episode itself is gonna go down as one of my favorite Dragon Ball Super episodes, at least in the tournament and overall probably. But in the preview for the next episode, and like I've already mentioned a little bit of it, we're gonna have Goku going up against Jiren, but it's going to be Vegeta, the man, who's going to be trying to go up against uh, Jiren as much as he can, and it looks like he has him on the run. It looks like Jiren may not even take a hand lightly. At first, it looked like we saw him just give him a punch, but Vegeta's gonna go all out against him. So will he develop Ultra Instinct? It's a possibility, but guys, that is it for me. Happy holidays, stay safe, and I will catch you later.